using the DISC, most commonly known as the DISC profile. Today I want to talk to you about how to use DISC. Sales are based on relationships, and so we like to buy from someone we trust, someone local, someone recommended by a friend. The relationship might be fairly shallow, but it's important. So how can we build satisfying sales relationships? Psychology tells us that we're more at ease with those who mirror our style. We turn towards people we think will understand our priorities and validate our own choices. So how comfortable are you with adapting your selling style to the way your customer behaves? Do you note the clues the customers offer to their own style and their own preferences? He or she doesn't comfortably make eye contact when you greet them. Do you remember that she likes to chat about the weather or the traffic before she's ready to discuss anything business oriented. These may be indications of your customer's particular buying style needs may make him or her feel more comfortable purchasing from you. In the DISC program, it's an excellent tool using the profile to help you learn more about yourself, your selling style, and the buying styles of potential and existing customers. Learning more about your selling style may seem like a waste of time since we all believe we already understand our own behaviors, but almost something useful. When I did a self-assessment and found out what style that I was, it helped me to understand better not only my emotional needs, but also to how to obtain my business goals. On the other hand, I also learned that I might also maybe the time needed because of the personality style that I am. Or maybe I wasn't going to be analytical enough or maybe I would be overly analytical. I might even appear to be bored when they talk. But I now understand that because of my personality, I can understand how I would respond as well as how they would respond. So using, <clears throat> using the DISC for hiring personnel, nearly every organization can use the DISC in hiring their personnel. Nearly every organization needs effective salespeople and select will be successful and also challenging. So we know that our employers who believe there is a particular style that will excel at sales and you predict success in sales or in any other discipline. To assume that because you have a successful salesperson who is an I, let's say, an I style, your next sales is a flawed strategy. Div and we have different skills and we have unique experiences and two people who appear to be identical to be diametrically opposed. So you have to be careful, very careful. Useful style isn't likely to accomplish your goal. The sales assessment can, however, be helpful to discover soft skills. The new or experienced sales professional needs to build or to prime team strengths. For example, you might discover that you've been hiring people that are more comfortable learning and explaining the complicated features of your product. Use someone on the team who is more comfortable with maintaining a personal relationship with your long-term clients. Of course, I recommend using the DISC program so that it can help with your sales and your developmental and not more as the predictive tool that some people would make it out to be. It's clear most organizations employed there is also in sales in one form or another. Each person is building relationships with customers, vendors, networking with other professionals in their particular areas, of course. 
having employees beyond just your sales team can take the DISC program and, and the assessment that from the profile can help customer service, can help in purchasing, can help with the other employees understanding their own needs and the compute and the communication needs of the internal and the external clients. So quickly, Hopkinson's profile may show us their strengths. You can just look at somebody's body language. They could be a fast talker. A D or an I is a fast talker. The slow talker, S or C. So right away, when you meet someone, you know if they're talking fast, they're either a D or an I. Another clue, a fast walker or somebody that uses big hand gestures. Again, they're a D or an I. A slow walker, on the other hand, and someone that uses minimal gestures is S or C. How about this? Someone that sits forward, they're intense. They're intense in their alert posture. They're probably a D or an I. The other person, the S or C, you find them leaning back in their chair in a relaxed posture. I assume if you're watching this video, you already understand what a D is and what an I in one of my other videos. But an idea in trying to get them to purchase your product or someone that's in relationship already with you and you're trying to achieve maybe a deeper relation, communicate in the sales. So that's just a little bit of how DISC can help you. And with a lot more diving into it, I'm sure we could help you discover. How Thanks for listening.